reasons? Logic? I just do it because I'm having fun! <laughs> Welcome guys back to Jimson Games, I'm your host Jimson, and welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode. I'm still in the settings menu, but Minecraft Story Mode, we're going to kick this off, uh, chapter 2. I'm going to go all the way to chapter 5, I think it is, because I don't have any of the, uh, uh, episodes after that. Well, I have all the way to the Sky Island, but that's the last one, and I might just say that till after I get, like, the rest of them. So, so yeah, but let's get let's get on into this episode two. Uh, assem assembly required. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary. To do extraordinary deeds. and go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes thrown together by fate must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? This is it just so me or cool. the wheels missing? The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. Hey, Olivia, we're going to the order for a reason, okay? And that reason is because they'll know what to do. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <gasps> ah, shit. Ah! Ah! Ow! Ow, ow, ow! ow. ow. Uh. Hide! Great! More gas! The mine carts! Do something about the gas! Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? Fishing pole. Seriously? Fishing? Ooh, I almost messed that up. I don't know why I went with the fishing pole. I just wanted to. Got it. That's actually not a bad way to deal with them. If okay, you can actually we're all do set that. to go again. Hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. What? 
I never doubted you for a second, but, but Did that you? was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign. Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? She gotta be. Everything will be gone if she doesn't. I'm gonna try to use that as the uh, the picture for the video. Oh, pause it. I still find it amazing that instead of just going into a game editing software and just making everything do whatever you want it to. The Builders of Redstonia, I want you to know how much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jesse, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the Command Block. <laughs> so please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch! Wow. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Uh oh. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligo, but I'm still pretty cool. Sure, if you can save the world. No, uh, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. Hmm. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Yeah, okay. okay. Sure, that would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. Uh, this place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid have I have idea. many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Douche. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Or figure out how to use that tube. Uh, 
Okay, so that was interesting. But as I was saying earlier about how everything is built, like, they could have gone into, like, a game editing program and just, you know, made the world however the hell they wanted. But instead, they actually went into Minecraft and built all this. Built all of it. They built how the Wither Storm looks, they made with Sonia. If I would have went to, um, with Magnus, I would have went to Boomtown, and they built that. It, it's amazing at the amount of effort they put into this game. It's, it's awesome. Let's go look at the fountain. I have no idea how it works, but that is pretty amazing. And it's a battle bot. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Mm. Some people say I lack modesty. But some people just aren't as great as I am. And mm. some people are idiots. Tell me about this machine of yours. It's freaking huge. The mighty Mechmaster 9 million? Yeah, <laughs> it's huge. It's bigger than huge. It's immense. Does it do anything other than be big? It walks, I think. But most importantly, it'll totally nab me the spot as Eligard's protege. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Wow. Well, in that case, let's go talk to him. Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Eligard's future protege might make, no? What is What am this? I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. Perfect fusion of my two loves, cows, and music. Eligard's gonna <laughs> see it and make me her protege for sure. Maybe. Can Actually, you spare a repeater? Can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. Ah. <laughs> Need, a, Need hand? a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. I'm actually <laughs> gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. Well, I saw you over there talking to him. What lies has he been telling you? What's he saying these days? What little lies is he whispering? I told him I wouldn't tell you, but he thinks you're a cow killer. A real cow cruelty nut. That little ah, I'm about to show him. Hey, uh, yo, schoolboy. He did boy. say that, uh, basically. We're gonna have some words. Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people. All right, I'm just gonna let them do. As I just call them, like I see them. I want to take a look at other things. You are just. Can't help but notice you checking out my catapult, friend. It's got an easy-to-use lever right there. Wow. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first. <laughs> oh, believe me, he'll love it. I've never known a cow not to like it. It's safe. Right? I mean, I wouldn't want... Oh, I've never known anything so safe in my life. Okay, Reuben. It's time for a game of... Super Pig! Oh. 
<laughs> I think you didn't like that. That was fun though. You are creepy over there at the lever. I'm gonna use it for, you know, fuck it. <laughs> Congratulations! You've just managed to catapult a cow for no apparent reason. Literally. It was fun. Oh, let's see what the old Hi man there. is doing. Wh what? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there. Oh, I just said hi. Much better. What can I do for you? You wanna see my TNT cannon? You say something? Speak up now! How does your machine work? Still a work in progress. But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Cool. Theoretically. Yeah. Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear ya. But if it's about getting into Eligard's dome, no can do. Sorry. Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry. None of those to spare. Wow. I like you, sport. Here, have some redstone dust. Dust from a strange man. Cool. <laughs> let's see what let's see what's in this chest. Uh, yes, open it. Thank you. Oh man, stone. Jackpot. That's some nice stone. Still warm. Wow. Oh, why can't I go this way? Hmm. So who are you? <laughs> Stupid cow launching. <clears throat> you must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. Why waste time planting sugarcane when it could be planting itself? Auto farming, huh? What's the deal with that? Oh, it's real simple. Planting sugarcane takes time. With my system, that's time you save and put right back in your rhetorical time pocket. Hmm. I've really got to see Eligard. Oh, I see. Trying to prove how much you want the spot as her protege so I'll be intimidated? <laughs> well, it's not working. I could care less. You got a repeater? Sorry, already used all mine. I got some redstone torches, though. I'll just be going, then. If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Oh, she's driving me nuts with that. Sheesh. Yeah, I can see that. Listen, if you could do something about that whole situation, I'll hook you up with some primo crafting stuff. Deal? I'll see what I can do. That sounds like it'd be worth it. Hmm. Cows don't exactly have a wide spectrum of emotion, so it's hard to tell if they're happy or traumatized. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see if I can't talk to her again. Hello there, I, uh... Welcome to Mabel's Mighty Cowpult! Make your cows soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. Be amazed, be astounded, let your wonders be compounded! Hey, that farmer over there sent me, the one with all the sugar cane? Yeah, I've seen her. Well, all the cowapulting is really bothering her. You think you could stop? Oh, well, she's just gonna have to suck it up. No way. Well, then. Come on, isn't this beneath you? 
You've already perfected the cowapult, clearly. Shouldn't you start turning your attention to new pursuits? You actually make a lot of sense, friend. Maybe it is time to find my next masterpiece to be. Huh, thanks for helping me get my head right. Hmm, maybe a Tremouche next. Oh, God. Well, that's it for the cows, anyways. Let's see what the hell she gives me. Hey, thanks for taking care of that cow launching nut job over there. The constant splashing and mooing was driving me nuts. Here, take these as a token of my gratitude. That's some primo crafting material right there. Awesome. That's some thanks. Red, uh, redstone torch. Oh, I could craft one. Let's continue look actually, um I wanna leave it off there. I've been recording for like almost half an hour now. So like, favorite, subscribe, share it with your friends, tell me what you thought down in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Shout out to the fucking drop.